Hi, this is a little tutorial on how to get started with uh, Laravel using MAMP Pro. I have MAMP Pro already installed, so this is one of the reasons I'm using it instead of the, the suggested Homestead. Um, also, many things like uh, Vagrant and Homestead and Composer, uh, Laravel asks you to install them globally, but this is going to be like a local install. So basically everything's in the same directory and I can just uh, delete it afterwards. Uh, it's a little bit more work, but you know I'm not going to be a hardcore developer with Laravel. Basically, I'm just getting enough to get started so I can follow the the Laracasts um, on their website, um, just for fun. Anyway, uh, I'm coming from a WordPress development, so this is why I have Mant Pro, and that's the way I do my my work there. So the first thing uh, you can go to the Laravel website, and we're going to follow along with the documentation. Uh, on how to set that up. So first thing we need is a server, which we already have using Mint Pro if you have that. And we need PHP version 7.1. We also need to install Composer. So first thing we're gonna do is just basically set up our uh, local uh, environment to work with. So Laravel, let's put tutorial local. Okay, and my where we're gonna put it. Now I keep all my sites in my Dropbox, so just create a new folder. I have a number of reasons of doing doing it. My Dropbox. Uh, okay, um, so it's gonna be here. So let's create that. Then we'll have to restart our servers. Save. Okay, we can just verify that it worked. So we met Prawl was, uh, my virtual host was set up successfully here. So um, let's continue with our installation. The next thing to do is to actually install Composer uh, here. So if we go to the Composer website, it's fairly easy. You have to use a little bit of the terminal or command line here, but just start with the first part. So if I open up my command line, um, and we're gonna have to change into that directory that we created. So CD, and that was called Laravel. Now this is one of the reasons why people install uh, Homestead and things at the root level, because they can just change their directory into their projects instead of uh, these longer uh, places. Uh, so now that we're in our Laravel, I can just start installing the composer okay so that first part brings the installer and if we see uh, over here that the installer is is brought in and then we're going to just check to make sure it's a legal copy there and not something bad okay it's been verified that it's the original installer and then we're going to set up composer let it do its thing and all settings are correct and to use it we need to use this command here php far so i'll just keep that somewhere uh i just copied and pasted it somewhere to keep it uh, handy and then we're just going to unlink that so it's all uh, cleaned up all right so basically all we have right now is our laravel uh, directory with Composer ready to go and just the default MAMP Pro uh, setup. So the next thing we need to do is actually, this is sort of the global setting. So we're gonna have to change this a little bit. Now remember it said PHP uh, Composer far, and we don't really need to do it globally. We just wanna do it locally. So we're gonna change this a little bit. going to come out to com uh, PHP Composer far. We don't need to install globally, just go get the Laravel Lava installer and put it uh, in our directory here. So it's going to go do that. It might take a minute. Okay, there it is. So we'll start seeing things happen in our, our Dropbox here as they're getting installed.
Okay, so everything seems fine. Nothing's uh, no red, so it's all green. Uh, so we'll follow along, continue here with uh, our next thing is to create our sort of website. Now this can be named anything. It doesn't have to be called blog, but we'll just follow along with their their um, their setup here. Now if you do follow along here, we can just do watch this Laverel new blog, and just this is, might be the first problem because we had things on local. Uh, it's it's not found so. So actually what we have to do is use is via the composer. So we're going to use this command instead. And we have to change this to PHP composer far and then the rest is fine. There we go. So it's actually this one. This is the Since we're just doing it locally, the PHP Composer FAR, we're going to create a project, and the preferred distribution is the Laravel, Laravel, and we're going to call it a blog. Sorry about that. So basically, if we go back to here, we can see things being installed in our blog. Because when you install these things on your root level, like all this is going in there. Um, I guess it's fine, but I use my computer for a number of different things, so I'm just I just prefer to have it all in here, so I can get rid of it afterwards. Okay, so the application's been set up successfully. So what does that mean? Well, if we go back to here, or if we check out our local, we're still here. So we basically just have to change our directory into our blog. So we'll choose that. It's not blog, it's our public folder. That's the one we want. Okay, so once we've changed this to our public folder, the public directory, you can see that we are able to access the, the Lavarel homepage. So basically that is all set up and ready to go. Uh, problems you're gonna run into is your PHP version. Now we've set it here to say 7.2.1, but if we actually check our install, this what's our version of PHP we're using, um, it says we're using 7.1. You may even see uh, 5.6 here, so that's a, a problem because uh, we don't have 5.6 working, even though it's saying 7.2. So you're in Mant Pro, you're going to want to make sure on PHP that you your problem is you probably have this make this version available on the command line not available. So if we do that, we can see that now if we check this out, PHP version is uh, it's using this oh sorry we have to stop this uh, quit restart our terminal PHP version now it's using the 7.2 uh, that we we requested here all right um, just to get you a little further along because there are problems here we're going to set up a database so on our hosts uh, you may want to play around with the the database. So I use PHP and min uh, on my MySQL. So let's just create a new one called Laravel. Okay, so it's there. It's all ready to go. Now you're going to want to follow along. You can follow along in the cat, the uh, Laracast there to get going on this. But just to show you what's in here quickly, um, we have our public. Now our index PHP. If you look at this, is not there. Let's do this. 
little differently. Uh, our public that we're looking at, we have our index PHP, which is, is here, but it doesn't really have uh, what we're working with. So this, this page here is, is found in, in our views, our welcome uh, page. So this is our welcome PHP. Now it uses a blade template. So basically here we have our, our styling, our HTML and with our links here. So this is the, 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 the template that's being used to show our Laravel here. Uh, we also have our web PHP, which returns uh, different views. So this is our views. If you follow along in the tutorials on Laracast, you can create another view, like contact, and we'll call that contact. Uh, and basically, you'd have to create another one of these. So I'll just file, save as, our contact blade. Uh, I gotta save this one too. Save it. And we go to the contact page. We'll go into the HTML. And then we have our contact page here. So this is kind of like a static uh, HTML website, but what we want is to create a link with our uh, database that we've created. So in Laravel, to attach to the database, it's this file here, our uh, .env file. So basically, if you're used to WordPress, you have uh, a WP config file. This is what we need to do here. So our database, the name is Laravel. And I'm using just my root and my root. Uh, so I can save that. Um, now there's one more command you're gonna need is, is to connect to the socket. So now we're gonna have a small problem here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna change our directory back into our, our blog. Uh, back into our blog uh, directory. And this is where we have our, our use of the artisan commands. Now you're gonna le learn this following along already in your Laravel casts. Uh, so now we have our database connected to our Laravel, we can start uh, populating it with their, basically their default information. So if we do that, PHP artisan migrate, you'll see that we have a problem. So uh, there's a number of problems here. Connection refused, uh, some other constructs aren't quite right. Now, I discovered that what we're missing here, which is actually here too, uh, in our MySQL. Uh, sort of allow, you can have allow network access to MySQL, which I don't think is a good idea. It says without activating network will be established via a Unix socket. Uh, MySQL uh, dot This is this is the safe and perfectly adequate for most situations. It's not necessary to do it uh, globally or, or things like that. So we basically just have to add the a little bit of information here that our socket is is that. So our database socket is through the MAMP temporary folder. Do 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 do. Okay, so if we save that, and we try running our migrate command just to populate our database a little bit, you'll see that we'll run into another problem here. You'll see that we have, oh, I should have showed you earlier, but we have actually created a table successfully in here. We have migrations and users, and then it hit a, a roadblock. Basically, it's it's this happens with uh, it's kind of a common problem 
uh, with the migrations, and it's actually in the information on the website. So under database uh, migrations, it's actually in this, this is the error here. Uh, you have to, in the app server provider.php file, you have to add this information. Okay, so this is the app, uh, app provider file. There it is. Uh, it's under the providers. So we just have to add these, this little bit of information to this. First thing is we need this illuminate support. We can just place that under here. And also the public function boot. Well, we'll just put it here. So public function register, public function boot. We can just stick it in there. Now this has to do with the uh, email length inside the uh, table. So basically the MySQL database has a certain amount of characters and uh, it doesn't like something that's a little bit too long. So this corrects that problem. Now if we roll, if we do a migrate again, it's still going to give us an error uh, because it already has some of the, the tables. So let's just do a rollback. Okay. And let's try this again. Ugh, table already exists, users. I think it's clean. Ah, oh, fresh, there we go. That's what I meant. Okay, so it took out those tables, then it put them back correctly. So all the tables have been uh, created successfully. Basically, it removed these tables. And if we refresh it, we'll see that we have all the tables here now. So there, so we've gotten rid of some of these errors uh, that we were getting. So basically, just by adding this little bit here, increasing the email length and uh, adding this support as well as just adding this database socket into our, our, our MAMP uh, connection. So now you can go back and follow along with the Laravel casts. Uh, start with the the first one here is just Laravel from scratch. Now you can do this with your Map Pro. Thanks for watching and following along. Um, hopefully it wasn't too painful. <laughs> and uh, have fun. Thanks.